Hey guys, it's your boy Mark Sanders back with another video. Uh, this is Rank Wednesday number 66. Uh, this is me ranking vegan mints. Or vegan ground beef if you want to get American about this. Yes, that's a Simon Miller triple jump reference. But um, yeah, this is me ranking vegan mints. Uh, I was thinking about what today's Rank Wednesday should be. Actually, Wednesday is tomorrow for me as I'm recording this. I'm recording this on October 25th, 2022. But I I couldn't think of a rank Wednesday to do. So then I asked my mom, hey mom, any ideas? And she said, why don't you rank mints? Or, you know, and I was like, yeah. And surprisingly, only four vegan mints I've, I've, I've tried so far. I thought it would have been more than that. But I guess I was just confusing that with how much like vegan meat I've eaten in general and tried out you know but uh, there's four of these and all of them you know I would accept I would eat you know but um, there's certainly some I love more than others and um, yeah uh, but uh, yeah I hope you guys enjoy and you guys know I've been vegan since May of this year 2022 and yeah all right in fourth place i have plant or P planet however you're supposed to say this uh these ones i'm just not a fan of as m uh, i mean they're all right yeah they're fine i mean if there was some in the in my fridge right now i would absolutely cook it up and eat it but um but uh yeah this is easily like i i remember like saying I'm not as big a fan of this brand. You know, could could we get more meatballs, plant-based meatballs, of course, instead of this? And uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, it's still still all right. Just you know, I'm just not that enthusiastic about it. But next up, number three, a uh, Qon Qon or something like that. Um, this was actually a substitute brand because um, they didn't have whatever one I was looking for, so they substituted for this one. And this was solid. It tasted kind of powdery. I won't lie, but I kind of like that. I, I really and the texture though. I'll say this: the texture of this was so satisfying. Like when you take it out of the bag, and it's kind of all like crumbly. I, I don't know how else to describe it. Yeah, but I, I've only tried this once. I think like this brand, and it's it's fine. You know, it's it's good. You know. Now number two, this one is tricky. Because on one hand, I always be like, oh man, why'd you get this brand? But on the other hand, when I do eat it, it's delicious. Number two, Bean Supreme. The thing that I hate most about this one is just how much of a pain in the ass it is to get it out of the packaging. It's in this like um, shrink wrapped, like thick plastic, you know what I mean? And uh, that I hate, but once I'm cooking this and once I'm eating it, it's delicioso. Oh shit, I forgot it. I just remembered I, I... There was a brand I forgot. Anyway, this ranking... Um, bird's eye. Sorry about this. Funny enough, I I didn't do an individual mince one for this. I'm looking at rank Wednesday number 38. Anyway. Alright, slide update. So everything that I've said, we're ranking five minces. Okay, but this order is how it is so far, you know what I mean? Uh this man, this is like last time I did rank Wednesday when uh when I for my Chucky ranking, when I immediately remembered, when I suddenly remembered as I was recording the Child's Play 2019 remake, I don't want this to be a thing every single week, man. But, um, anyway, Planet or Plant, whatever, would be number five. Corn would be number four. Bean Supreme, number three. And number two, this is the one I forgot. Uh, Bird's Eye. Bird's Eye Mint. 
this was absolutely freaking delicioso. Oh man, especially when I had it with my thingamajig. I mean, don't get it wrong, still not as good as bird's eye um, meatballs. But man, even my mum thought this was delicious. Brace yourself. Being that I f forgot about it until just now, I'm a. Uh, uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Not going to talk about it. Yeah, not going to talk about it too much. But number one, the first one I tried, still easily my number one, Pam's. This was so delicious, man. And this was when I first started going vegan. And I couldn't believe it, man. Like, I won't lie. I, I did think it looked, it, I did think it smelled kind of gross and looked kind of gross. And even when I opened it and smelled it, I thought it smelled like cat food. I'm not even exaggerating. Then I cooked it. I tried it. I instantly fell in love. Delicious, man. Oh, man. Anyway, that's my ranking. Hope you guys enjoyed. And, uh, yeah. I know this is different from what I usually rank, but yeah. I'm your boy, Mark. Peace out, yo.